Hello guys, Robert Bat one here, coming at you with a new Yu-Gi-Oh! video on none, nothing else other than my ban list prediction videos, guys. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, seeing as we should have had the ban list some point uh, at the beginning of April, uh, or some point after April, or, or after March, uh, as soon as we hit April, um, I was thinking, I, I wanted to wait a bit just to see if we actually didn't get the list, um, didn't get a list, and so we finally hit that point where I feel like it's time to make my ban list prediction video. Um, essentially, this ban list prediction video will be going from now till, um, till uh, May and June when we get the Flames of Destruction Special Edition, I believe we get it in June. Don't quote me on that, but whenever we get the Flames of Destruction Special Edition is the last day that I believe this will be, this list will come to fruition, um, fruition uh, because um, that's when we get the Grand Soil reprint and it's when it gets, Grand, Grand Soil gets his Arata. So basically, today we're going to be doing a ban list prediction video, talking about what I personally feel like is going to get hit on the list, what's going to happen with the ban list, uh, what, we, what we're going to see Konami do with the list, seeing as one of the main segments on my channel is, say, is telling Konami to fix their damn list, so uh, time for my ban list prediction video to talk about what they will do, or well, what they should do as well in this video. Um, but it's less a wish list and more of a prediction because this is real these are all things that I believe Konami could do on their badness prediction video on their badness prediction so uh, let's get into that guys because it's time to do a ban list prediction video Woo! Um, yeah so hopefully we'll have this list soon as well uh, which will make me really happy but yeah so let's start off right away with the band cards. Yes, the band cards are very simple. Um, the first band card that is that I feel like is going to be banned is Lyra Lusk Independent Nightingale. I have the list down there. Don't blame me if I keep looking over there. Um, but yes, Lyra Lusk Inde Independent Nightingale. Um, this card is a card that literally has had cards banned on the Konami ban list um, because it was, guess what? broken um it enables ftks in the game and something and a card that can literally enable an ftk uh through means of other cards as well but uh is a problem uh, i feel like though this is got a card's going to get hit over the Sup supreme king starving venom um because this card is the enabler. Um, without this card, the FTK does not exist. So hitting this card over the Starving Venom, um, and even bringing back, possibly bringing back the uh, <clears throat> the Shark, the uh, Planet series card that they banned because of it, is an option as well. Because of um, this card is the reason that card was banned as well. Um, so this card is going to be banned because it enables the Pendulum FTK. Uh, a very broken FTK that basically is very hard to counter purely because the FTK revolves around your opponent not doing a lot. Uh, it revolves around you making double starving venom with Nightingale, but also um, it has the ability to easily just deal damage to your opponent. And also, if you can't succeed in the FTK, uh, then the deck still has follow up plays that. Um, in that the, that magician has like it could still go for like babushka options it could still go for synchro options like the deck has a lot of options outside of just the ftk so um hitting independent nightingale is the card that i believe will be here uh, to stop the pendulum ftk uh because it is the uh main resource of the of the ftk uh whereas the other cards uh as starving as in starving venom instant fusion those cards, um, or even the zero gate cards, um, the infinite gate cards, um, uh, they are they they get you to the point, but they're not the reason the FTK exists. This is the reason the FTK exists. So um, this is the reason why I feel like Independent Night Girl will be banned over uh, like something like Supreme King Starving Venom. 
Uh, but yeah, guys, um, next ban card that I believe will be banned is Naturia Beast. <laughs> uh, I recently made a Konami Fix of the Band. There's a video on this. Um, yeah, Naturia Beast is a card that I actually feel like will be banned. Uh, it's basically the fact that um, with stuff like anti spo in the game, with stuff like end Unending Nightmare in the game, um, having a card like Naturia Beast around that just can be made very easily, very consistently in a deck like 60 cards or in a deck or in decks like World Chalice that can just easily um, fit in cards that will be able to make it. Or even if you were like back in the day with like Pepe, um, you understand the pain and like. If you hit magicians, then I believe like they'll be deal they'll be going back to the more performer power set trick builds where this card will be more usable in. Um, so looking at it from a long sp like from point of view, my point of view, I feel like Naturia Beast is the card that will be hit. Um, it's a very it's a very silly card in my opinion. Uh, being able to just um, mill the top two cards of your deck to negate any spell card, and you can consistently do continuously do that. Um, I feel like this is a card that Konami will be hitting just because it's a card that can single handedly steal games. Um, seriously, if you make this card turn one, there are points where your opponent can't do anything, and you're just gonna win on the spot. So I. I feel like Naturia Beast is one of the cards that will be banned this list um, because it's like, oh, if I'm going to make a card that can single-handedly win the game, what's the point in playing the game, am I right? Um, but yeah, uh, so Naturia Beast, in my opinion, will be banned as well, um, just because it's a very easy card to make, plus there's also other cards out there that do the same thing but don't actually negate the cards, they just prevent them from being activated, not stopping resources from being taken, um, and just not gaining resources. Uh, but yeah, uh, Naturia Beast will be banned in my opinion as well. So. <clears throat> Uh, onto the net, onto the uh, limited cards because those are all the banned cards I have. Uh, Naturia Beast and Independent Nightingale are the two cards that I believe will be banned in this list. Um, but the next card, the limited cards that we're going to be talking about next. <clears throat> Uh, so for the first limited card, uh, the first limited card I believe that will be limited is Fairy Tale Snow. Um, now, the reason I believe Fairy Tale Snow will be, uh, will, will, I believe Konami will uh, limit Fairy Tale Snow, um, is because Fairy Tale Snow. Uh, just gives you so much advantage in 60 cards. Literally, the amount of advantage you can get off one Fairy Tale Snow is insane. Like. Um, the amount of the most advantage I believe I've gotten off a of fairy tale snow is banishing a giant rex, solitaire, spirit master, dot scaper, um, and a balancer lord to summon the dot scaper from the banished zone, summon the giant rex from the banished zone, summon the solitaire from the banished zone, uh, the spirit master from the banished zone, uh, destroy a card with the spirit master, and summon a card from hand with balancer lord. That's basically five monsters of seven cards banished. And looking at it from that point of view, um, I feel like Fairy Tale Snow is going to be a card that will get banned because of this. Like, um, Fairy Tale Snow is a card that literally just enables your opponent too much. Um, it will, or, and, or yourself if you're playing 60 cards. Um, Fairy Tale Snow, it's literally one of the most insane cards in 60 cards. Being able to just banish seven cards, um, get maybe two, one summon at least from those seven cards banished, and um, also be able to interrupt your opponent's turn in the process as well. Like Fairy Tale Snow, ever since its in its initial release in the game, has been realized as a very good card. Um, it's been a very good card ever since it was first released in the game, and f because of this, I believe it's time that we actually acknowledge the card that Konami acknowledges at least, and I believe they will acknowledge this, that the card deserves to be hit. Um, the card is in a position where uh, it's top defense, it's not... Sure, it didn't top, top Salt Lake City, um, but I'm sure Konami will realize that this deck is doing quite a bit and it's doing a lot to stop people. Um, and it's just really not fair in the long run, seeing as it can. It, it essentially means, oh, if I mill this card, I can play the game very easily. Like, literally. Um, from playing 60 cards myself, I understand the point that 60. Um, you mill Snow, you, you basically won the game. Like, seriously, Snow is just so broken for that fact. And I feel like they'll limit Snow. Snow just just to take care of snow just to take care of some um, uh, that problem of always having multiple snows so uh, limiting it will make it harder to mill you'll have to waste resources to mill it such as maybe a foolish burial or or even a uh, oh, 
Well, even the curious effect he was sending to grave. Um, but yeah, uh, I believe Fairy Tale Snow will be a limited card on the next list. Uh, next is Astrograph Sorcerer. Um, yes, Astrograph Sorcerer is a card that I believe will be limited. Um, this card it is just the hugest enabler in Pendulum Magicians. Um, <clears throat> Giving you the ability to summon, sorry guys, uh, giving you the ability to just uh, go through your deck very quickly through making a garnet, through summoning a garnet from your deck to get a few resources to summon, um, <clears throat> giving you a resource to summon Electromite out, or just in general being able to summon itself from the board, uh, from your hand, and then gain you an additional resource through that. Um, the fact that the card is able to literally just, oh, uh, my Black Fang has been destroyed. Uh, I'm going to summon this card on board and get another Black Fang in the process. Um, essentially, that I feel like that card that that's not really fair. Plus, it enables all those Vortex Dragon and more than anything in the deck. And I feel that limiting the card will take away the fact that you're going to play the Garnet and you're going to be able. You're pro you're most likely not going to be playing the Rank Seven Engine anymore. So I feel like if they they will limit the card just so they can, you know. Take down the resources of Pendulum Magicians a notch because they do use quite a bit, a lot of resources just to get to that point. So I feel like the deck will s stray from the Astrograph path and maybe go for a little more um, rank six, eh, rank six centric past paths because of Naruto isn't as broken as Odd Vortex. Let's be honest, where Naruto can only negate spell and trap cards, Odd Vortex can negate everything. So. Um, I believe Astrograph Sorcerer will be limited. Uh, it's a, definitely an option to be limited. I wouldn't say they would ban it because there's no real reason to ban the card. Like, if you take away two of them, then the Garnet engine is gone because you're not really going to play one Astro, one Garnet. Like, it's the same reason why you wouldn't play one Terratop, one Take Tom Borg. Um, and it's also the fact that having one in the deck is fine. It's not busted up one. Um, it will show sure you'll be to get, still be able to gain one resource from it, but it's not very insane playing up more than one. But yeah, guys, um, Astrograph Sorcerer uh, it will be limited in my opinion. Um, that, yeah, that's just a fact. Um, in my it, well, it's just what I believe it to be happening. Uh, but yeah, guys, next card is uh, Grand Soil, the Elemental Lord, um, Arata, Arata. A rutter. Um, basically, this card, I believe, will be unbanned. Um, we'll get the Arata. Like, this is the whole reason I said when we get the special edition um, is because when we get the uh, special edition, we'll be having a Rata uh, Grand Soil. And that's one of the main times that Konami probably will um, uh, deal with the problem of, uh, you know, uh, Grand Soil. So, um, being being banned. Like, uh, so I believe that we'll get, have Grand Soil. Uh, Put back to one for us as soon as we get the Konami, as soon as Konami give us the special edition, or we'll, they'll give it to us sooner, unlimited, but they'll give us an announcement saying that you can't play the card as, as a non eroted version. So, yeah, guys, uh, Grand Soil to one as well. Uh, next, uh, next limited card is Masterpiece, the true Draco Slaying King. Do I really have to explain? Yes, of course, I have to explain. This, this is a video. Um, uh, true masterpiece, the true Draco Slaying King. Um, this is a card that has been a very degenerate card for one of the longest times ever since Maximum Crisis was released with Zark and everything. And seeing this card uh, ever since then, being able to just single-handedly take events, and since Salt Lake City, it did so well, taking about I think it was a quarter of the um, the whole top 32. Um, I believe Konami have realized that this deck needs to be stopped because the deck has so much power with a Mono Iwato, um, has literally so much power because of that card. Being able to just do all of your plays and just not do, be able to stop them um, is really powerful. Plus being able to end with a big boss monster um, that will just say, oh, I'm going to banish a monster from my graveyard and destroy any card on your board. Um, I feel though that they won't hit a Mono Iwato because it's too new a card to hit. Um, but definitely going straight for the true Draco stuff. I think Masterpiece is going to be the one that will get hit in that regard Just because it's the card it's the boss monster of the deck and is still Very very powerful in that retrospect just because the card is able to just be a boss monster immune to Just mechanics in the game in general and be able to be negated be, be able to just destroy anything during either player's turn um, 
but yeah, Masterpiece to One is in my is in the futures, I believe, as well. Um, but also another tra dra 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 Draco card is going to be Dragonic Diagram. I feel like they're going to go ahead and hit both Masterpiece and Diagram at the same time. Um, it would make sense for them to hit most, both Masterpiece and Diagram at the same time because it'll be hitting the consistency factor and the boss monster in the deck, um, dealing with two but hitting two birds with one stone essentially. Um, sure, the deck will still have some playability thanks to cards like terraforming um if they stay on hit uh and thanks to cards like obvious thanks to cards like majesty maiden but <clears throat> but hitting the deck to that sort to that point i believe is the correct choice because it means that the deck is a lot harder to is a lot easier to deal with and the deck won't be as powerful as it was before sure we'll still have to deal with a mana Iwatu in the deck but it means that the deck will be severely weakened and if you get rid of that one diagram or that one masterpiece the deck will not be able to play as well as it would but uh, yeah, I believe Dra Dragonic Diagram and Masterpiece will be hit to one on this list. Um, next, Scapegoat. Scapegoat. Scapegoat, you're going to get limited. Seriously, um, Scapegoat is a card in the game that has literally just been abused uh, for, since we got the Link Mechanic, essentially, or since we got, like, since since uh, we got Borrowload, essentially. It's been, it's been abused since we got Borrowload. Um, Having Masterpiece in the game, uh, having, sorry, Scapegoat in the game, um, ever since we got the Link Mechanic, ever since we got Borrowload, it's literally been like, oh, well, first iteration, Trick Stars, I'm going to use this as a wall, uh, or I'm going to use this to make a Borrowload to steal any of your monsters. Uh, second iteration, uh, to memory, is Mech Knight Invoked. Oh, uh, I have four open monster spots. I want to be able to make a boral load or something. Or have just a wall. Flip the card. Flip the card. Um, honestly, guys, uh, Scapegoat, in my opinion, Konami will hit this card without a doubt in my mind. Um, this card is a card that literally does need to be touched in some way, shape, or form. Um, be it limited or even semi-limited. Um... Or potentially even banned. Uh, I feel like they will hit the card. Like the card is a card that gives multiple decks a way to make a fun t a first turn borrow load. Um, uh, well, not a first turn borrow load, a one card borrow load, um, which is just insane in general. Being able to make one card borrow load is not fair in the slightest. Seeing as it's just like, oh, um, I can I can either use these monsters as a defensive wall or I can use these monsters as a borrow load, which essentially gives me. Um, your monster and a way and a big monster that can't be targeted by a monster effects now Obviously this might not happen um, but uh, still, I believe Konami have, will realize that it's a card that does need to be hit, and it's a card that they should hit regardless. But, yeah guys, um, that's uh, Scapegoat. Uh, Scapegoat should be hit in my opinion, and they will most likely hit it. Um, but let's move on to the next one, which is uh, Trickstar Reincarnation. Um, I feel like Trickstar Reincarnation is going to get limited. Uh, it's like... It's something that just seems makes sense to me. Um, with the draw, with the draw lock, um, with the ha draw lock hand loop um, in the deck, I feel like them hitting this card to one will somewhat hinder that draw, that that hand loop in a way. Um, seeing as if you hit that, uh, if you hit the reincarnation, it takes away their monster reborn, which is one of the reasons why they're really really good um and it takes away their hand loop which is sure they can still get the hand loop uh through means such as if your opponent adds then chain it to that then chain the draw um but it means that they lose the ability to use two um they lose the ability to have that additional advantage which they had before through an extra monster reborn um through like two monster reborns in the graveyard and only having one now and it means they have to re use the resource more carefully um now sure they can still hand loop you which is will be quite annoying um but it's the fact that i feel the deck is in a position where it's very good and it needs to be touched in some way shape or form um but tricks of reincarnation to one i could definitely see is happening um it's definitely an option that should be ha that should happen um will it happen i'm not 100 sure um but 
uh, it is something that I feel will happen, seeing as it has been topping events recently. Um, but yeah, uh, that's all I have for limited cards. Like, I don't really feel like there's anything else that will be limited. Um, like, this list, like, there's not a lot of stuff in the game that I feel like needs to be limited or needs to be touched outside of the cards that I've mentioned. Um, but yeah, those are all the cards that I believe will be limited. Uh, let's go on to the semi-limited section. Uh, so for starters, uh, we have Ash Blossom Enjoys Spring. Um, I feel like this card will be semi-limited. Uh, I don't think they would go lower than that. I don't think they would uh, limit the card. I don't think they'll ban the card. Um, but I feel like the card is a position where it will be semi-limited. Now, the card has bit the people now Konami have reprinted the card. They've reprinted the card and they're probably going to make a l and they've already made their money off the Kyber collections. So I believe this they will actually limit the semi limit this card, um, even though they'll probably put it in the Megatons um, to two. Now the reason they won't put it lower is because the Megatons obviously they want to still be able to make their money back, but. Putting the card to two um, means that the card like means that it will be somewhat more somewhat harder to draw, somewhat harder to use. Plus, you can use the deck without. You only really need two to begin with. So I feel like playing two. Konami limiting, semi-limiting the card to two is something they would do just because they've already made their money back on the on the set of Kyber Collection um, and they've already done everything they really need to um, with Ash Blossom. So uh, if it's in the Mega Tins as well, I could still see the card being semi-limited regardless just because... Uh, they would still be able to make a ton of money off it, even if it's semi-limited. Um, but yeah, I honestly feel like I could see Ash Blossom Enjoy Springs going to two. Um, it's a card that really does deserve a two spot right now. The card is very good, being able to just negate any searcher from deck that can touch any or any card that can touch the grit the deck in any way, shape, or form, pretty much outside of you know like setting cards to the board. But um, yeah. Uh, definitely an op definitely an option to go to two in my opinion, and I could see this card hap I could actually see this happening a lot. Um, next card is terraforming. Yes, I feel like terraforming is a card that will go to two. Um, it's a card that it's something in Draco as well, in my opinion, that which will be hit to two. Um, just hitting the consistency a lot in Draco is very powerful. Plus. Terraforming being a generic searcher for every field spell in the game, um, it really is nuts just being able to just be like, oh, uh, I'm going to be able to search my diagram, I'm going to be able to search my reincarnation, um, I'm going to be able to search my uh, Lair of Darkness soon. Um, I feel like terraforming will be a card that will be hit just because of cards such as Lair of Dark, just just cause cards such as Lair of Darkness, Diagram, Reincar uh, Light Stage. Um, it's a card that will be hit just to stop the consistency of these field spells because there's so many, there's so many ways uh, to have these field spells in hand, especially in Trick Stars and the. Um, Layer of Darkness, Layer of Darkness deck, um, where you have you can literally discard a monster, search the Layer of Darkness, or in Trick Stars, Norm Summon Candina, search Trick Star Light Stage. Like, there's so many ways to do it that I feel like they will hit terraforming because it takes away one of those multiple different ways to search terraforming. So I feel like terraforming is a card that will go to two because of this. Um, but yeah, also semi limited and will be semi limited in my opinion is Draco Face Off. Now. Truth be told, um, the Draco engine is really dead. It's not used at all. Um, it literally has no purpose in the game right now, uh, and no one is using it even even though Luster is at two. Um, like seriously, I could see the Draco engine instantly just all go back to three. Um, but I feel like Lust Draco Faceoff will be a card that goes back to two. Um, it's not a busted as busted as it used to be. Uh, it's a random choice, chance of either of, of either a Vector or a Luster. Um, and it really isn't as broken as it used to be. Like seriously, this card is, it's a good card, but it, like the Draco engine is pretty much dead. So bringing back this card to two, I feel like wouldn't be a problem whatsoever. And I can actually see Konami doing it, seeing as Pendulums, like it would, if they take away Astro, then Pendulums are gonna to have to look through uh, to other means to play the game. So this is a way for them to play and still have options. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for semi-limited cards. Uh, Semi limit Ash Blossom is definitely an option in my opinion, and so is Terraforming. Like these two are quick cards I could see, but Draco Face Off is a card that even the Draco engine isn't being used at all. So I could honestly see that happening. But 
Anyway, guys, uh, cards that I feel will be unlimited. Uh, Lust of Pendulum, the true Draco Slayer. The Draco Slayer, not true Draco Slayer. <laughs> um, Lust of Pendulum, come on. This card has done nothing. Like, literally, at two, it's done nothing. So I could easily see the card going to two, going back to three. Um, it does nothing at two, and I could see it easily going back to three. Like, there's no reason for it not to. Um, it's very obvious that the like the card isn't that great anymore. Uh, thanks to the link mechanic, be, having to put the card in the extra deck is not that great. So I could easily see this card going to two, uh, going back to three, uh, along with face-off going to two. Um, it's... It's a good, it's a big option in my opinion, and it most likely will happen. Um, next, Book of Moon, um, target one, set one. Snow does the same thing, and it's more than once per turn. Put this card back to free. This card does not need to be limited. Um, and Compulse, Compulse anything. Storming Mirror Force. Storming Mirror Force. Yeah, Compulse isn't that broken anymore. Uh, Compulse just isn't that broken anymore, guys. Like, honestly, uh, it's a card that could easily go back to free as well. But, yeah, for these last few options, Lust of Pendulum does nothing. Um, Book of Moon, Snow. Book of Moon just sets a card, target, targets a set card, targets a card, set it. It's not that broken. And Compulse, it's not that broken either. Like, these cards could easily come back. But, yeah, guys, that's my ban list prediction video for... April, May, or June. I'm gonna check. I'm, I'm gonna have to check the special edition release and then put it in the title and then change the title, aren't I? Um, but yeah, guys, uh, th that's the video. Um, honestly, guys, I could easily see um, this list coming to fruition, uh, coming true. Um, it's like there's a lot of stuff on here, such as Independent Nightingale, that definitely will happen. Um, Astrograph definitely will happen. Masterpiece or Diagram. One of the two will definitely happen, or both of them. Um, and I could definitely see like Ash Blossom going to two as well. But yeah, guys, that's the list. Tell me what you personally think of my list in the comments section below. Is it bad? Is it good? Do you hate me for these opinions? Remember this. This is all my personal opinion. Um, the Konami could just be like, "Fuck, screw you, Robert Bat One Duelist. You're not, you're not getting any of these changes." And we'll, we'll, we'll say no. You, you can't have any of these predictions. Like, and just make the game broken for a bit longer. Um, but yeah, guys, that's the video. Tell me what you think of the video in the comment section below. Tell me if you think my predictions are going to be correct. Tell me if you think they're wrong. Tell me if you think they're bad. Or tell me if you think they're good in general. Like, just give me your opinions in the comment section below. I always love to hear them. Um, and if you enjoyed the video, guys, don't forget to press the like button to show that you like the video and want to see more badness predictions in the video uh in the video uh later on later in the future um and also if you want to see more konami fix the badness videos yeah yeah <laughs> um uh but yeah um if you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get these get more your videos in your subscription box and if you want to be notified of those future Yu-Gi-Oh videos don't forget to press the notification button as well to be notified of said Yu-Gi-Oh videos but yeah guys that's the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching robot one signing out they still won't bring back stratos bye guys <laughs> Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe on this video for more Yu-Gi-Oh videos and check out the links in the description for the previous video and the link to my Facebook page where you can see previous videos that I've posted there and any other information that I may have posted there. I hope to see you guys next time and thanks for watching.